I'm trying to decide if Max is the kind of person that I would actually be friends with in real life. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. Oh, I hope really? you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. <laughs> Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. That's a true point. You know, I think I would be friends with Max. Wowzer, Max. You really? did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... weird. Actually, maybe not. I only really, like, the only thing I really know about Max's personality is after the rewind powers. So discounting the, re the rewind powers, I don't know what she's like, really. So maybe not, I don't know. Kind I heard depends. Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. You also share his voice actor, and the other girl shares Chloe's. So you're liking not more Not my style, but... The neon is a nice representation. Oh shit. Pretentious alert. Eh. No, I think I'd be friends with Max. She's a pretty cool person. Would I date her? No. Would I be like, and even if we were friends, it'd probably be like pretty platonic friendship, honestly. Except for, well, okay, when I say platonic, I don't mean, like, no sex whatsoever. Well, like, that's what platonic means. Okay, never mind. So, like, would I fuck her? I mean, yeah, of course. But would I fuck her on a regular basis? Uh, I think not. I think I'd probably do it, like, once a month or some shit. I wouldn't make her, like, a regular thing. As fucked up as that is, sounds or is to say, I, I, I don't really give a fuck, to be honest. Like, I do not understand art. Don't worry, sister, neither do I. But that's why I'm not a fucking art major. <laughs> You're not appreciating the art, you motherfucker. You're appreciating the content of the art. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll bet you sick, perverted, good fellow man. I, guess I wanted to insult him, but I just couldn't. Now. Well... Well, considering shit like fucking Snapchat and Instagram these days, a lot of people are photographers. The only question is if you're any fucking good at it. Which I'm gonna tell you right now, a lot of people aren't very fucking good at it. Putting a bullshit filter over, over a shitty picture you take doesn't make you a good photographer. I know I just called a lot of people out, but tough shit. The retro vibe. Oh my god, I thought that was Victoria first. Am I the only one from Blackwell who's actually here? Does only the winner get to attend this damn thing? You know, I'm pretty damn, you know, I'm pretty, you know what? Come on to think of it, when I, re when I review my shit, I tend to notice shit that I forgot about when I was actually playing it. So I'm pretty sure it's probably been stated like four times at least that only the winner goes, but I just forgot about it. That's the best picture. That looks like um, Silent J and Bob. No, no, no. Silent J and Silent Bob. Fuck me. Be cool, Max. Smile and don't say anything stupid. Or just be your fucking self. 
Um, excuse me, I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. I've seen what? a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Congrats, I don't even remember what the fuck she turned in. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, Shit. Yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny <clears throat> Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images. So I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. So, Danny Lee, this commendation you've given to Max, is it based upon pure merit or is it based more so on ethos? Just gotta bad say. Bad exposure, bad framing, bad picture. I could have done this so much better. Someone's a fucking critic. Let me tell you right now, critics don't always know what the fuck they're talking about. I wonder if I can God, buy these everyday I hero's love pictures. Art. Any fucking critic who gives a goddamn ninety-two percent score to the movie The Fast Runner, How did these galleries which is a direction? piece of shit, has no credibility with me. Hmm. That's hers. How the fuck do you like that picture? Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. How the fuck d what? You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Okay, we lost uh, you there for a second. Your I'm okay. Uh, jet lag, high altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on, please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm, Chloe, I'm can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh uh, my god. The tornado was real. Water spout. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. Yep. And guess whose fucking fault there it is? There has to be a way to stop this. It's all right, though. For good. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Hang on, hold up, motherfucker. Oh, you're Max Caulfield, God. right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. Ah, voila. Oh, shit. Oh, my head. What You're doing is going this too much. Now? <clears throat> it feels like reality is breaking apart. Because it fucking is. What am I doing to time? Fucking it up beyond repair. I just have to make one simple change, so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Tear this bastard apart. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first.
Although... <laughs> Yep. Unintended consequences, my girl. Say, Max. What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. <laughs> Eat shit and die or fuck you. I love it. You know what? Fuck you was so overrated. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Slap. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Shit. Oh. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. I actually do. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He no, burned my diary. I'm always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Strange. Prick. Whoa. <clears throat> Did you see how crazy it is outside? Fuck you think. Like I said. Something weird. There's that fear. Oh. Max. It's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. All things considered, if I were to be drugged and captured and taken to some dark room, honestly, like if I had to die in that sort of manner, I'd kind of prefer just to go Jefferson's way. Why I just get dosed a bit, someone takes some fucking pictures of me, and then just probably gives me some kind of lethal dose of something and then buries me. I mean, honestly, this is like not a bad way to die aside from the initial fear factor, at least as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> at least that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. Oh, I still insulted him in class, didn't I? With that whole, you know, this class is bullshit. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. But she still sent the text, right? I know it's about to happen, but I'm th I think uh, like the text is why she sent it, right? Wait. 
and it just took him for motherfucking ever to do shit. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. See, see, that's all he's doing. He's just like giving him one dose to kill him. Like, this, okay, <laughs> creep factor aside, if you're gonna murder somebody in cold blood, this is actually a pretty fucking humane way to do so. What? Wine faster than this, or is that just not possible? No more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I, can I please ask you for one last request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Let me go, motherfucker. But Jesus fucking Christ. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Over. You are not going to stop me. Grab your gun now. Got it. It's over. You are not Grab going to stop me. Going to stop me. David, kick that table. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ. It's over. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Jesus. Yes. Jesus fucking fuck 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 fucking fuck that one fucking part was so fucking stupid fucking thank you fuck. david thank you no thank me you brought me here i feel like the fucking king's speech right if you've ever seen that movie fuck let's wrap up this son of a bitch first He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Actually, it'll Mr. be neither. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Although Save Victoria's Chloe. still fucking dead. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren! Yes! I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Get out of the fucking dark room. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. Allow me to express my fucking anger here. I was stuck on that one motherfucking part. With just this four fucking dialogue options fucking requests. For 25 fucking minutes. The first part where you warned David, I got right every fucking time. It, it fucking took me too fucking long to fucking realize, to fucking see the fucking option where you fucking push the fucking car on the fucking shit in order to fucking fuck the fuck up, right? That motherfucker Jefferson. That's the fucking part that fucks me up the fucking most. Is the fucking fact that the fucking push the fucking car and do the fucking shit. So it took me a while to fucking realize that fucking bullshit, and so I kept on going fucking request a fucking request. The only fucking one I can't fucking go back to was the fucking music one. Because the fucking music one fucking fucks you over right from the fucking start. Um, it took me a while to do the fucking water one. 
and successfully push the fucking cart. Because I never fucking panned down the fucking camera fucking and fucking enough to fucking realize fucking that fucking I have to fucking kick the fucking cart over the fucking thing to fucking hit the fucking teacher in the fucking face because a fucking cocksucking fucking asshole. That's what. That's why, that's why I'm not in the best of fucking moods right now if you can't fucking tell. I had no idea he was this sick. I, you know what? I don't know if his word of video is going to end or not, probably not, but I need to take a fucking break. Whew, okay. Max. I'm sorry you had to be here. I better go outside and call Warren. Oh, please answer. <laughs> I was not at all in a good mood last time. The press got so, had to know. Because it took me so long to do this. About this. <clears throat> David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson look like was, hell. was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to be a dick. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. Well, you still had the right idea to tell the principal that Jefferson acted shady around Kate Marsh. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Well, she's, um... <clears throat> she's still alive in this timeline. Although, um... You know what, I'll save that for later. And apparently you never get to do the go, go ape shit with the Warren, which honestly I'm not gonna like, kinda disappoints me. Let's see, Kate was bullied, me too. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. Uh, I don't know if you can call him a pervert. He didn't really do anything sexual. I mean, even his photographing of them didn't seem sexually charged. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it, but he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. You did your fucking job. Principal Dipshit is the one who didn't do his fucking job. We all make decisions we regret. <coughs> but I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. Well, you know. I had all the high-tech toys Well, you had each other. Fuck it. <laughs> Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. <laughs> you both had a tough start. And I know it wasn't easy. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I was pissed off and wanted to rage. Yeah, I know the feeling. Too much. As do I'm fucking I'm going I. to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... You, you use your service as an excuse every chance you get, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? It's hard to come home <clears throat> after war. True point. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. 
a new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. <laughs> so where is Chloe? She's fucking dead. David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. I want to make one thing clear. Whether in games or in real life, I don't care for bullshitting people. I don't let fucking feelings get in the way of shit. Unless it's too much to handle. So let's say if it's like an emotionally charged situation and I know that something bad could happen from the truth, I may temporarily lie, but as soon as it's calmed down, I will be honest. Cause I my 100% believe that honesty is the best policy no matter what you're talking about. I don't like to be bullshitted, and I don't like to bullshit, so... <clears throat> Max, are you, are you sure? Are you... Yes, I... I saw her. I... I saw a... Jefferson Killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room? I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! <clears throat> David, wait! <laughs> The only point of that that I disapprove of is the fact that Jefferson didn't get to see the gun in his fucking face and cry and piss his pants like a little bitch as it happened. I stand by my point that the photography aspect of his little plan isn't that big of a deal. Cause not. The drugging and kidnapping is a pretty big fucking deal. The fucking murder and bury is a pretty big fucking deal. The only part that may be misconstrued as being flippant is the photography. The photography is not that big of a deal to me. Other than the general atmosphere of the awkwardness and creepiness of it and potentially people being scared. But people aren't scared because they're being photographed. They're scared because of the kidnapping and what's, and what's to come afterwards. At least that's how I interpret it, so. But yeah, that's the only thing I, I say out of it, so. <clears throat> Actually, there is one more thing I do have an issue with, is the fact that, like I said, you know, I, Jeff, I, I, w I wish he would have done when Jefferson was awake and shit, but also he shouldn't have done that in front of Max. <laughs> that's another thing I gotta say, now that I really think about it. Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. <clears throat> what have I done? Killed a piece of All that of time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max. You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David. Thank you. For saving me. Mm. 
I completely stand by my sentiment that this is one of the best games I've ever played Why in my fucking life. Why can't I just life. wake up? Let this be a nightmare. I've seen so many people die this week. Now Jefferson. I feel numb. And now Arcadia Bay is fucked. Freedom. Holy shit. This storm is real. No shit. I need to find more. Yes. Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody <laughs> says book I have to see move, bro. Oh or FCC actually. You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. This part is kind of bullshit. I gotta be totally honest. It really is. This particular moment right here. Okay, there, there, there's... I give this game only three flaws. One is... One is gameplay, and the other two are more so story. But this game is fucking amazing. And this is one of them. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say... <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate, or Rachel, or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Fuck, so he knew. <laughs> Sorry. That whole part is just fucked up, though, man. Hurry up. 
dude, Nathan already knew that he was gonna die. That's fucked up, man. <clears throat> yeah, here's why I say it's bullshit, though. Because why did the fucking message just now get to her from the previous day? Now, I know what you're thinking, well, there are times that you can send a text message and it might fail to send her some bullshit. Yeah, I acknowledge that, but here's my issue with that explanation. That's happened to me. And any time it's ever happened to me, like, I'll send a text message, and or whatever, and it'll fail to send. I might, I might not even find out it failed to send until, let's say, I don't know, four hours later when I check or some bullshit, right? Here's the thing, though, is that if it fails to send, it, at least for me, it never ever sends on its own later on. I always have to press the button to resend. And 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 it, and when I press the button to resend, um, it usually does say you know it was sent earlier than that because it failed the first time. Here's the thing though, Nathan's fucking dead. So how the fuck did he resend it? You know what I'm saying? And Jefferson is too. So that that's my issue with that part. It's 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 contrived. Hey, out there? As hey, a matter of fact, yes, the buddy. Trapped. I have to help everybody I can. Come on, Thanks, buddy. Kid. You okay? Once I get the hell out of here. No shit. I've been loads for way too long in this shit old town. I don't think I can. Oh, never mind. Yep. You better go now. And I ain't never coming back. You need a lift? No thanks. No. I have to find a friend. You go, girl. You go. For shit's net, mine isn't it, dude? Yeah, I think a lot of people are saying that right now in the real world. Oh, fuck me on a goose. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, well, you're fucking dead. God damn it. Genius. Okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero. Come with me. I have to help somebody else first. It doesn't take a genius or a time travel to figure out that, you're, that you might fucking die in, in this place. You fucking idiot. Oh, that fucking sucks. I don't think I can save him, even if I wanted to. Help me get down, Max. Alyssa? Damn it, I'm Oh shit. Uh, Alyssa needs help again. Yeah, but how the fuck do I help her out? Alyssa, god damn it. Come on, Alyssa. Take my hand. You sure you want to do that? Here I come. You did it, Max. Are you okay? Now I am. We need to get out of here. Alyssa, you go on. I have to help other people. Watch out, Max. Damn. That was close. Thank you, Alyssa. Be careful out there. Well, we're not even. I saved your ass like six times. If you saved mine once. 